in emergencies, in national security situations. If you're gonna deliver medicine, or you're gonna deliver some antidote, or you're gonna deliver some equipment, the post office is the last hope of this country. It has a civic obligation to perform on behalf of the American people. The first thing I learned when I came to the Postal Service was three words, the sanctity of the mail. I'm Jay, and this is my dad. He always had a lot to say about his job at the post office. I felt a feeling of accomplishment every day I came home from work. After hearing the stories for 27 years and watching what he went through to keep his job, I set out to uncover if what happened to him was happening everywhere. Deliver the mail as fast as you can, cut the lawns, climb over somebody's bushes. They, would, they actually told you that. They're trying to get you to speed up. It's big time stress. I got to do everything right. If I do one thing wrong, the 99 things I did are, are negated. My chest was a pumping and my head was about to pump. It's basically a war zone. You're on one side and they're on the other. I worry about someone going postal. I warned them. I put it in writing. What if I'm at work that day and get caught in the crossfire? They're being told to lie, cheat, and steal. Even though we have this rough, crazy climate and culture inside there, we still get that mail out. The commitment is still there. That's right. Post office belongs to us. Yeah. Post office belongs to the American people. Yeah. yeah. How much are you going to put up with before you finally say enough is enough? I felt like a boxer who was on the canvas getting the 10 count. This is a corruption that's got to stop. And we have to stand up for what is right. We have to.